Hey, my name is Sean Sean. I sell art on SeanSean.co. Today we're going to react to Ding Ding Who. So taking a look at her channel, she has a picture of herself in the background with kind of neutral. So you don't really know it's about painting per se. So you might want to change that to the painting, I think, in the background. Um, she has a nice profile with her looking away, kind of like, ooh, demure. Very classic pose from artist's standpoint. Not smiling, but, you know, that's kind of Chinese, so it's more like control your emotions kind of feel. Scrolling down, she has an intro video um, as her introduction, so that's good. She has videos, she has her videos strung out, and then her shorts. So she's doing videos and shorts, which is very popular nowadays with TikTok. Obviously shorts is kind of the YouTube version of TikTok. So she's very prevalent in both. Looking at the first video, it's called Art in a Small World, Be the Wind in the Wilderness. So kind of interesting, she has some uh, tags attached to it. So pretty good sale, I would say. Let's take a closer look, guys. <laughs> So I just say really funny, just expressionistic style of painting, just throw the paint everywhere. <laughs> Not really instructing you how to paint at all, but kind of a fun style as far as engaging with the audience right away. It's not a boring painting video, like a lot of painting videos are very boring. So let's continue. There's no real headshot about introducing yourself, but you just introducing your style of painting. <laughs> It's a puppy rack, kind of like, oh my god, what is he doing? But at the same time, it's very bold. He just does what he wants. It would be nice to see expression on her face, though. You really only feel the emotion in the style of painting, I would say, versus like how she feels about things. Like, if you're throwing paint everywhere, you probably have an expression on your face. You wouldn't be like, So really crazy. Let's go into the next video, guys. <laughs> Called "Isn't Each of Us Living in an Octagonal Cage?" So again, very comfy start. Throwing paint everywhere. It's like a drama duo painting. <laughs> of course, she uses a pure white dress to get ruined every time. Poor dog scared to death. <laughs> it's almost like a Hong Kong karate film. Uh, a bunch of paintings. Like Jackie Chan said, let's do a movie painting of this. So, which Hong Kong is famous for, so it makes sense. So a lot of different elements, like splash painting, uh, drawing. Um, so that's kind of cool. I think stylistically, it's kind of a cool way to paint. And video obviously is over the top, but... Each painting is like this bizarre story of the flash painting and how tough it was to do the painting. The classical painting, which is kind of an interesting touch. So a pretty spectacular ending. Let's go to the next one. It's just oil paintings 2023 splash painting. So I think there's a compilation here. Dog's He obviously has a lot of money to waste on painting. Sound effects to make it goofy. I don't know what the point of that is. I 
I don't think that works for me as far as like using this round thing. There's a lot of time lapse here to use as well. It's kind of a goofy stylistic way to put it together. A lot of detail shots, walking around. It's never boring, that would be really Dramatic brainstorm coming in. Here the music more traditional Chinese. Hey, Sunday! So very, very goofy. Uh-oh. Okay, that was kind of interesting. <laughs> she actually lights the painting on fire briefly. Uh, let's go to her website, guys. This is called... Who is hungry? I think it's the same person. I'm not sure because the look is slightly different, but hopefully it's the same person. Um, she has the color citrus, very bright colors here. Uh, kind of a Andy Warhol ripoff here a little bit. Um, you can sign up. So she has her sign up page right away, but it doesn't have kind of like you have to get 25% off or something like that. So it's kind of nice. She has a podcast, Honey Got Nuts. Uh, there's Wonderland, Shop is Hungry. Illustrator, writer, comedian with your host of the mostest. It's interesting to say she's a comedian because the videos are definitely comedic in style, but she's not really laughing. So I'm like, but I don't know Chinese humor, so maybe it's different. Uh, let's see what else she has. She has artwork here. She has vignettes. See, this doesn't match her other style, so I'm not sure if it's the same artist, guys. Um, but it does have the same name. But at China, a lot of names are kind of repetitive, so maybe, you know, this is just strange. She has suit can. See, this has nothing to do with the splash art, so I'm not sure if it's the same channel or not. Again, there was no uh, link off the YouTube channel. I think it's the same person, but I can't really tell. I mean, this style is very different than her splash paintings. Uh, there's no splash paintings here. Here's kind of her background a little bit. She does a comedy show. So I don't know if it's the same person. Let me see if there's another person with Ding Ding, which is really unfortunate if you're this Ding Ding artist because no one can find your artwork if you're not the main Ding Ding. It's interesting on TikTok, she's not that big, which is really interesting. There's an art broker called Ding Ding. Oh my God, this is a nightmare. So I don't know if that's her website or not, guys. It might be the right site. I think there's a lot of people in China called Ding Ding. It's very common in China to have the same last name. I think there's five main Chinese last names, which are very repetitive. And the first names are obviously repeated. So I don't know if that's her website or not. She has no website link on the YouTube channel, which I would include strongly to put that there so you could buy the artwork and sell it. Doesn't make any sense not to have your website link there. I have my website link there. But overall, a very interesting kind of fun splash artist. It's just bizarre that she has so many subscribers, but then has no website to sell the art. It's like, <laughs> that's just a really strange approach to selling your artwork. I don't know, just so strange. It's like, why would you go to this effort to making a, a really fun kind of performance style artwork on her channel and then just the website, you don't know where it is. Yeah, just really unsure of who Ding Ding is. If it's Ding Ding Who or not, if that's a different artist. I'm suspecting that Ding Ding Who may be different than Ding Ding The Art Channel. So yeah, that's a huge, huge, huge shortfall to not have your website linked. It's creating a lot of confusion if there is another Ding Ding with the same artist name, which it looks like there's at least two artists with the same name as Ding Ding with different styles. So brand confusion, that is massive. <laughs> That's just the worst thing to possibly do is have brand confusion where you're big on one channel and then you're just non-existent as a web shop on a, you know, somewhere selling or something because it just seems like there's an Etsy store that just doesn't match at all either. So who knows what exactly, who she is, where she is, all that kind of stuff. Maybe she's trying to keep her identity secret, but in this case, it's leading to massive brand confusion as far as using an, a very common Chinese name, which, you know, she just used her name and that's how it is in China, but it's just mass confusion. No one knows who she is as far as where to buy her artwork. So yeah, check her out on YouTube. I don't know if that's her YouTube shop or not. If you like to subscribe, you can subscribe below. And I'll see you in the next Artist React video. See you guys.